So go ahead and start off in a kneeling position and just let your forehead find somewhere to rest. Um, so you can rest it on your mat, but if your mat feels a little far away today, you can rest it on your forearms. You can use a yoga block. If you have a couch cushion, you can use that, a blanket. You know, allow yourself to get really comfy in your old home. And you have choices right away with your body. You can spread your knees a little bit wider apart. Start to feel for a stretch in your hips that way. Or you can press your knees close together. Start to feel for a stretch in your lower back lumbar spine. And arms can go out in front of you, palms face down, or back by your hips, palms face up. And really no choice is better than the other. They're just different choices. And it's about finding a place that feels sustainable to you. Yeah, and once you've found that place, just bend your elbows enough so that your forearms completely rest on your mat. That way your shoulders can soften, you're not braced for impact in any kind of way. And it's just a softening, a surrendering. Close your eyes, let the rest of your room just fall away. Begin to deepen your inhales. Lengthen out your exhales. Yeah, and as you exhale, see if you can just feel softening happening through your body. Those long, slow exhales, they tell your body that you're safe, it's okay to be calm, it's okay to really soften into these shapes. And do your best to continue this deep, slow, rhythmic breath throughout all the poses you find today. And that in and of itself is a practice. So if you ever notice you're holding your breath or it becomes a little bit shallow, a little bit held up in your throat, hey, Eddie. You can always come back to this child's pose to reconnect. And let's try a breath together. Wherever you are in your cycle of breath, start to turn it into an exhale, get empty. Inhale, big belly breath in. Exhale, H A. <sighs> yeah, and those big H A ha's release heat, release tension from your body. So, again, feel free to take as many of those as you need throughout class. You never have to wait for me to cue them. And again, if you notice you're losing that connection with your breath, or you just need a moment of peace, a moment of centering, quite literally feeling the ground beneath you. Child's pose is always here for you. I'm going to make a whole lot of invitations, a whole lot of suggestions, but that's exactly what they are, invitations and suggestions. Take whatever works for you. Leave behind whatever doesn't quite resonate today. And with all that in mind, let's start to add a little bit of movement to your child's pose. So start to crawl your hands forward towards the short end of your mat. Yeah, and then keep crawling them so far forward that your elbows, forearms, and wrists release. So you tent it all the way up on your fingertips, and from there, feel for a stretch through both sides of your body just as you keep sending your hips back. Roll your forehead side to side. Just kind of notice the texture of your mat on your skin. And in a dreamy sort of way, let that roll travel down your spine into your hips until it feels more like a sweet sweat. Plant your palms, spread your fingers wide, and with your eyes still closed, slowly push yourself up to all fours, find a tabletop. Feel for stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, and inhale, drop your belly, lift your head and tail for cow. Exhale, round your spine, push your mat away for cat. Inhale the cow, try to touch your head, your tail, feel for a stretch in your throat even. And then exhale the cat, hollow yourself out, get as round as you can. And keep taking these on your own, just flow to the rhythm of your own breath. Let it be easy, let it be sweet. And I recommend keeping your eyes closed now and through as much of class as you're able to. There's probably not a whole lot that's new to see. You've been in the same space for three months, but there is a lot to feel. And when we can't really go outside, it's an opportunity to go within. 
Yeah, and if you've taken a few rounds of those cat cows and you're like, no, there's something else that my body's really craving right now, feel free to explore it. You can roll your spine, maybe undulate it, linger longer in a cat or a cow. Any little movements that feel good to you. Nice, and then on your next pass through, find a neutral spine. Plant your palms, spread your fingers as wide as you can, tuck your toes, take an inhale, and as you exhale, send your hips up high towards your first downward facing dog. And then as soon as you get there, break it all apart, deconstruct it. Find some more free movement. Sometimes I like to stretch my hips side to side for a side body stretch or pedal out my legs, but you do what feels good to you. Maybe there isn't a specific word to describe the movement you're doing, but it's yours. And that's what this is about, honing that intuition, that connection to yourself. And just kind of use it as a diagnostic tool. Notice how your body's feeling today, what's feeling open, what's feeling tight, where are all the sticky spots? We'll check back in a little later, see if anything shifted. But for now, start to find stillness in that big upside down V and we'll clean it up. Look forward to your hands, set them shoulder width apart. Wrist crease parallel to the front of your mat, middle finger facing forward. Spread your fingers wide. Bring your shoulders away from your ears so your neck has a little bit more space and it's subtle, but rotate your upper arms outwards to broaden through your shoulders. So it's like the inside of your elbows try to face the front of your space. Feet about hips with distance. So roughly six inches for most people and then bend your knees, send your tailbone up towards the ceiling, tilt it forward. Press your heart towards your thighs. Pull length out of your spine. Feel your spine traction out. And then just gently let your heels sink back towards your mat to the extent you can keep your spine long. And if you feel your lower back start to round, no worries. Just keep a little bend to your knee. Exhale, empty. Inhale, biggest breath of your day. Exhale, H A. Inhale your right leg back. So go for length rather than height. Feel for level hips. Bring right hip a little down in line with your left. Flex your toes towards your face. And then inhale, point your toes, lift your legs straight up. Exhale, bend your knees, stack your hips. And do something to really yawn open the right side of your body. So maybe you take really big movements of your hip, your knee, kind of lubricating those major joints. But it could also be a little more subtle. Letting your leg be heavy can feel really, really nice. Beautiful. Inhale your leg long. Level off your hips. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, shoulders over your wrists, round your spine like cat pose. Go slow. Inhale your leg long. Exhale, knee to right tricep. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale your leg long. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale your leg long and exhale silently. Step your foot between your hands. Make sure it gets all the way between your hands. If you need to pull it forward, totally pull it forward. Stack your front knee right over your front ankle and then set your back knee down, untuck your back toes, find a low lunge. Um, and you know, we really take a lot of time with that setup because you don't wanna be on your left kneecap. You almost wanna be on your thigh above your knee. So you can stay down here if this feels like a lot. Round over your front leg, perhaps let your head and neck go a little. But if you're already for feeling a little bit warm, you feel some space in your hip, you can bring your hands to the top of your right thigh, interlace your fingers, and then actively press your thigh muscle away from your hip bone. Sizz your legs in towards one another so that you don't just collapse into your hip joint. Squeeze your left glute. It's going to give more space in front of your left hip, and then soften your shoulders down your back. One more, inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down. Tuck your back toes and as slowly as you can, step your left foot forward, forward fold, front of your mat. Let it go. As soon as you get there, crease your knees to take pressure off your lower back and hamstring. Yeah, we're just gently coaxing hips and lower back to begin to lengthen, to begin to open. So. Again, you have choices in your body. You can grab for elbows, maybe a sweet sway side to side. 
And then measure out hips width distance between your feet. Two fists snug between your arches if you'd like to measure. Inhale, half lift. Bring your hands to your shins, maybe your thighs for the first one. I like to do that. And then bring your weight onto the balls of your feet. So lean a little forward. It's going to stack hips, knees, and ankles in line. Use your hands pressing against your legs to pull even more length out of your spine. Gather your shoulder blades together. Draw them down your back. One more inhale here. And exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, come forward and up, all the way into your extended mountain pose. And when you get there, you can close your eyes and drop into the moment. Maybe feel it out. Shift your weight left, right, back, forward. And eventually, find a place where you feel really centered and then stand really intentionally in that place. And perhaps it's the first time you've stood intentionally all day. I like to imagine my feet have roots attached to them growing down into the earth. Feel a little lifted through your inner arches though. Pull up on your kneecaps to engage your thighs. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the ground to put your pelvis in a neutral position. Grow tall out of your waistband, but let your shoulders rinse away from your ears. Notice what those two opposing mo movements feel like to you. Yeah, and then flutter your eyes back open. On your next inhale, look up, reach up, maybe back, flight. And exhale, forward fold. And then take it on your own, just like a wave. Ride your inhale all the way up, past your mountain into your back bend. And when you reach the apex of your breath, let your exhale carry you back down. And then take that once more on your own. Inhale up into back bend. Exhale, release, fold. Really nice. Inhale, half lift to reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands. Step your feet back. Pause in your plank. So it looks like the top of a push-up. And if this already feels like a lot, just bring your knees down. That's such a strong place to work. Great way to build up your body strength. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Tuck your tailbone. It's that same motion you did in mountain pose. Feel your core ignite when you do it. Actively press your mat away so you don't collapse on your uh, shoulders. We'll set up our flow together. Keep your elbows tight against your wrists. Inhale to shift your weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, untuck your toes, straighten your arms, hips off your mat, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Send your heart towards your thighs. Yeah, and that's our flow. You're going to find it a lot. Modify it, skip it, make it what you need it to be today. Then we'll do it all on the other side. So inhale your left leg back. And first, go for length. So try to reach even farther towards whatever is behind you until you feel a big stretch. And then inhale, point your toes, lift your leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, stack your hip, and play and explore. And see if this side feels any different than your last side. And it might. You're a human being. You're not always as symmetrical as it might appear. Nice. Inhale your leg long, level your hips. Exhale, knee to your nose, shoulders over your wrists, round your spine. Use core rather than momentum. Nice, Maggie. Inhale your leg long. Exhale, knee to left tricep, look over your left shoulder. Inhale your leg long. Exhale, knee to right tricep, look over your right shoulder. Inhale your leg long. And exhale, use your core strength to step your foot through. Try to get your hips high to do it. Beautiful. Set it up really well. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. And then set your back knee down. Untuck your back toes. Find a low lunge. What's up, Garrett? What's up, Eric? So I like to keep my hands down for a breath or two just to kind of sink into it. Yeah, and you can always roll over the side of your mat if you need to pad your knee a little bit. Yeah, but if you are ready for a little more, you can bring your hands to the top of your left thigh. Interlace your fingers. Try to go for thigh muscle rather than your knee joint. Squeeze your right glute, melt your hips forward and down. Lengthen through your tailbone, and again, soften your shoulders away from your ears. Send your breath into your hips. Really nice, one more inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands down, tuck your back toes. Second chance to go as slow as you can. Step your right foot forward, forward fold, top of your mat. Set your feet hips-width distance. Inhale, half lift. 
Exhale, forward fold. And then go ahead and take three more of those mountain pose sun salutations on your own. So inhale all the way up into mountain. Exhales bring you back down into your fold. See if you can let it feel really good. Now, when you finish your third, just hang heavy in your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, seal it off. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or lightly, hop your feet back, and you flow. High to low, up dog to down dog. Yeah, and if you do hop back, hop into low plank with your elbows bent rather than high plank. It's just less impact on your joints. I kind of think of a shocks on a bike or a car. And then once you're back in down dog, clean it up. Find your breath. Inhale your right leg back. Exhale slowly. Step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted this time. Inhale up for your high lunge, crescent lunge. So stack your back heel all the way over the ball of your back foot. So your foot is perpendicular to your mat. And then squeeze your left leg straight. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. So you can take a shorter or longer stance if you need to to make that happen. Feel for trying to get your front thigh even more parallel to your mat. Think left hip a little forward as you draw your right thigh bone back. Yeah, and then it's just mountain pose from the waist up. Again, grow tall out of your waistband. Let your shoulders melt down your back. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, follow your hands down. Step your right foot back and you flow. Feel your heart open into up dog. Feel your spine lengthen as you come back to down dog. Really nice. Inhale your left leg back. Exhale with care. Step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, crescent lunge. Beautiful, Courtney. And again, stack your back heel all the way over your back toes. So it's gonna strengthen the arch to your foot over time, but right now it is gonna help you balance. If you're feeling a little bit wobbly right now, try toe heeling your left foot over towards the left. Yeah, really nice choices. So it's more of a railroad track sensation than balancing. Again, lengthen your tailbone down. This time it's left hip a little bit back. If you want an extra balance challenge, maybe you try closing your eyes just for a moment at the end. Feel your breath. And then if you did close your eyes, flutter them back open. Inhale, sit low, reach up, maybe drag your fingers across your ceiling. Exhale, release, two hands down, step your left foot back and you flow. And then once you get back to down dog, it's all yours. One breath, one movement, crescent lunge, right side and left. So every inhale you move, every exhale you move again, and it's a chance to move in a way that feels good to you. Everyone in this class probably has a different lung capacity, different body, different life. So it's a chance to really just take care of yours. If you're back in down dog, clean it up again. Send your tailbone even higher towards the ground, towards the sky. Fill the shape up with your breath. Yeah, and if it is available, exhale, drain your lungs. Inhale, big breath in. 
Exhale, H, A. <sighs> Inhale your right leg back. Exhale slowly, step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, power up your back leg. Inhale for crescent lunge. This time, exhale, peel open, warrior two. So left arm back, right arm forward. And then you get to get really big. You get to take up a whole lot of space. Um, especially right now when we're all in our homes, uh, there might be this tendency to kind of want to curl up into a little ball or to get really small. And this just allows you to be expansive, to really step into your power. So place your back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Heel to heel or heel to inner arch alignment. It just depends on how your hips are feeling today. And then stack your front knee right over your front ankle. So that might mean that shorter or longer stance. But it also might mean squeezing your knee to center if it starts drifting towards the left. Yeah, bring your left hip down in line with your right so that your hips level off. And again, really grow tall, really reach with your two arms. Inhale, sit low, stretch wide. Exhale, slow release, two hands down. Step your right foot back and you flow. And these flows, they are a rinse out, a reset, a chance to come back to your unique rhythm. From down dog, inhale your left leg back. Exhale with care, step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, glide into warrior two. Yeah, really beautiful transitions. Give yourself a beat or two to take up space when you get there. <clears throat> and then close your eyes. Yeah, and closing your eyes, they might bring up some shakes, some wobbles, some feeling of instability. But closing your eyes is really just about trust, trusting yourself that when the ground feels a little shaky underneath you, you can hold yourself up on two feet. So can you feel so strong and grounded from the waist down that you become light and buoyant from the waist up? And then resist the urge to fix or fidget or micromanage or adjust and just be okay with wherever you landed today. Know that what you're doing is enough. Even if you're in child's pose right now, it is enough. Inhale, sit low, stretch wide. Exhale, windmill your hands down, step your left foot back and you flow. And then it's another one breath, one movement, and another chance to move in a way that feels right to you. So crescent lunge, warrior two, right side and left. If you come often and you'd rather take a warrior one instead of a crescent, by all means, go for it. And maybe you try closing your eyes. And if closing your eyes feels weird and scary and foreign, try it just today, just this one class. See if it changes your experience at all on your mat. Because the cool thing is when you turn off your external vision, your brain lights up all of your other senses. 50% more of your brain is used to do that. And this practice, again, it's a work in, not a workout. What shows up for you? Yeah, and if you're moving, you keep moving because you are exactly where you're supposed to be. If you're back in down dog and it's available, exhale, drain your lungs. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, let something go. <sighs> All right, take a bend to your knees. Look forward between your hands. Step or float. Top of your mat, forward fold. Set your feet hips width distance. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hips down, heart up, chair pose. Bring your weight into your heels. Slide your hips back towards whatever is behind you. So it's like you're trying to get your shins perpendicular to your mat, 
but as long as you can see your toes, you're in a really good spot. And then lift your heart. Feel for a proud chest. So it's more stacking shoulders on top of hips than leaning forward. And if you notice you're really overarching your lower back, send your tailbone down towards the ground so that your core muscles can light up to support you. Squeeze your arms just a little straighter, but let your shoulders relax into their socket. Inhale, sit low, lift your heart. Exhale, stand straight up. Inhale, look up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, dive forward, fold, let it go. <sighs> and how quickly can you go from working really hard to being fully at rest? To finding ease, to finding sweetness in the moment. And then bend your knees enough so that you can pick up your toes. Slide your hands underneath your feet, palms face up. So your toes touch your wrist crease for gorilla. You can keep your knees as bent as you need to to make it happen. Bring your weight forward onto the balls of your feet and gently begin to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Yeah, if you're one of those people that just wants to jam their knees back, maybe try micro bending and lifting your hips even higher. If you're feeling pretty good, your legs are straight, you can use the strength of your arms to pull yourself even deeper into the fold. Maybe elbows bend out to the sides as you do. Shrug your shoulders away from your ears so the pulling comes from your arms rather than your shoulders. One more inhale here. Exhale, unstep your hands. And then toe heel your feet together to touch so that your legs are zipped up. Inhale, hips down, heart up, palms pressed, thunderbolt. So it's a chair pose variation, except now everything's squeezing tight towards center. Try to straighten your arms, squeeze them as straight as you can, even if they come a little bit lower in front of your face. Press all five fingers to touch. So the more you press your pinkies together, the more you're gonna light up your triceps. Yeah, it's a great way to get really toned arms. Sit your hips down and back, lengthen through your tailbone, soften your shoulders. Inhale, sit low, lift your heart. Exhale, stand straight up. Nice, and then keep your feet together. You can separate your hands. Wiggle your right fingertips, identify your right hand. Swing your right arm underneath your left, find your eagle arms. So you can cross at elbows and wrists, or it can just be elbows. If you're feeling a little tight in your shoulders, grab for opposite shoulders instead. Give yourself a really big hug. And then pick up your elbows as high as they'll go. Tilt your head back, bring your weight into your heels. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, start to take a back bend. Again, bring your weight into your heels. Engage your glutes to protect your lower back. Feel for lifting through your heart. Keep your eyes open, small sips of air. Looks really nice. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up. Release your eagle arms, swing your arms sideways and up again. Nice, wiggle your left fingertips. Swing your left arm underneath your right, find your eagle arms. So again, any version that's gonna work on this side and maybe it's a shoulder grabbing side and that's totally okay. Again, bring your elbows up as high as they'll go, tilt your head back, take an inhale and as you exhale, start to trace a line across the ceiling towards the wall behind you. Or if you're outside, start to trace a line across the sky. Again, engage your glutes to protect your lower back. Imagine a rope is pulling you up by your sternum. And back bends, there's so much more about strength in your upper back rather than just collapsing into your lower back flexibility. Looks really nice, everyone. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back up. Release your arms. Swing them sideways and up again. And now we'll just take a regular one. You can separate your feet if that feels better. Inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, spill, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift, seal it off. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step or lightly, hop your feet back, and you flow. All right, come back to your breath. Deep inhale, smooth exhale. Inhale your right leg back. Exhale slowly, step your foot between your hands. 
Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, peel open, warrior two. Yeah, familiar shape. We've been here before. You can take a moment, kind of clean it up, set up your stance. Look forward to your front hand, flip your palms skyward. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reach up and back, reverse warrior. So feel your right side ribs fan open. And from the waist down, you're still in warrior two. So keep sitting low into your lunge. Keep your front knee over your front ankle. So again, if it drifts to the left, squeeze it to center. Bring your left hip down in line with your right. So left hand could go on your left thigh, your left calf. If you are gonna go for the bind and wrap it behind your back, really grab into your hip crease, palm face down, push against it and it's a place to lift out of. So it's a self adjustment. You're deepening the stretch across your right wrist. You can look up at your top hand. You can also look back at your back foot, whatever feels better for you. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, release, two hands down, step your right foot back and you flex. Beautiful up dog, Amy and Maria. All right, inhale your left leg back. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, warrior two. And remember this practice, it's about transitions as much as shapes. So you really wanna take your time moving through the poses. The slower you move, the more you're gonna use muscle rather than momentum. And you're also gonna to get to feel a lot more. Nice, so try to stay low through this next transition. Look forward to your front hand, flip your palms skyward. Inhale to stretch forward, exhale, sweep your arm up and back, reverse warrior. Yes, that was it, so nice everyone. Beautiful McKenna and friends. Yeah, and then you just make a choice on what you want to do with your right hand and make it a choice that's going to help you get a deeper stretch across your left wrist. Tuck your tailbone, try to take the arch out of your back. Feel for a true side stretch rather than a back bend. Yeah, I think right shoulder a little back, left shoulder a little forward, Garrett. Face your chest towards the side of your space. Yeah, that's it, just like that. One more inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, slow release, two hands down, step your left foot back, slow it out. And then it's yours, one last, one breath, one movement of clock. Make it whatever you need it to be. And really this practice is yours, so make it what you need it to be. So if there's something you wanna add in, if there's something you wanna take out, um, please, you know your body best. You're the one that lives in it. You are your own best teacher. Yeah, and all you have to do, no matter what choice you make, is allow yourself to breathe mindfully and feel fully. And if you do those two things, you've gotten your yoga in, even if you spend an hour in child's pose or an hour in pigeon pose. And if you're in child's pose, you're back in down dog. Again, feel your breath fully. If it's available, exhale, get empty. Inhale, something fresh, something new. Exhale, H-A. All right, take a bend to your knees. Look forward between your hands. Step or float, top of your mat, forward fold. So heel your feet together to touch when you get there, just like we did a moment ago. Inhale, half lift. Notice if your balance has changed on that shorter base. And then exhale, forward fold. From there, inhale, hips down, heart up, palms pressed, thunderbolt. So we've been here before. 
Bring your weight back into your heels and this time drag your hands to heart center. Inhale to puff up your chest. Exhale, lean forward, then twist right. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. Yeah, really nice. And then when you get there, look down at your knees. Make sure they're in one line. If your left knee is popping forward, just slide it back. It's gonna square your hips towards the front so that you get the twist through your spine. You could fly away if you'd like. Otherwise, you can keep palm pressed on top of palm for maximum leverage. Roll right ribs back, left ribs forward. Look really good. One more, inhale to twist. And exhale, slowly come back to center. And then stand straight up. Nice, bring your arms up above your head. Start to play, uh, we're gonna play with a little bit of balance. Start to put a little more weight into your right foot. And then pick up your left leg so that your thigh is parallel to your mat. You can keep your knee bent, flex your toes back towards your face. And in a moment, we're gonna do a transition right back into warrior three. Try to stay on your right leg. So one more inhale here. Exhale, sweep everything back for warrior three. So send your left leg straight behind you. Arms can go back by your hips, palms face down, which is actually airplane. Or you can do hands to heart center, or you can do that big warrior three arms out in front of you. Wherever you are, try to squeeze your left leg really straight. Bring your left hip down in line with your right. Try to resist collapsing your weight into your right hip. Lift up and out so your leg muscles really engage. And in a moment, we're gonna land in a crescent lunge, that familiar shape we've been doing. So take an inhale, exhale, big step back into crescent lunge. Yeah, so I took a class earlier and a teacher did that transition and I totally got inspired. So if you love it, it's all Phil. If you hate it, it's totally Phil's fault. Okay, so you're in crescent lunge again. This time, press your palms together, drag your hands to heart center. Inhale to puff up your chest. Exhale, lean forward, twist right. So just like in seated prayer twist, hook your elbow on the outside of your thigh. And if you'd rather focus more on the twist, less on the balance, you can bring your back knee down just like we did in low lunge earlier. You can also fly away or bind here, yogi's choice. Yeah, and just make a choice that feels good in your body right now. Try to squeeze your left leg straight. One more inhale, chin to right shoulder. Exhale, slowly come back to center. Recall your crescent lunge again. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, peel open, warrior two. I'm gonna do this so I can face you. So back in that familiar warrior two. Take up space. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, side angle, right hand down, left arm up. Yeah, and you have choices. If your mat feels far away or you're really rounding over, you can bring your forearm up to your thigh. You can also use a yoga block or a couch cushion to bring the floor up to you. If your hand is on the ground, use the top of your arm to press your knee back. Yeah, it's gonna help open your hip. Two arms in one long line. If you could see the back of your top hand, good indicator, arms are in line. One more inhale to stretch your arms apart. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Step your right foot back and you flow. <laughs> Uh, let's breathe to let that side go. Exhale, empty. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, let it fly. <sighs> All right, second side. Take a bend to your knees. Look forward between your hands. Step or float, top of your mat. Yeah, forward fold. So heel your feet together to touch. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. I like that shimmy, Courtney. All right, inhale, hips down, heart up, palms press, thunderbolt. Bring your weight into your heels. Drag your hands to heart center. Inhale to puff up your chest. Exhale, lean forward, then twist left. Yeah, really nice. Again, check out your knees, put them in one line. Bring your weight back into your heels. Send your hips lower to the ground. 
Lower than your heart. Yeah, it's gonna lengthen your spine. And a longer spine, it's safer to twist. And you could fly away or buy in Yogi's Choice. You never have to wait for me. If you're keeping palm on top of palm, stack elbow on top of elbow for maximum leverage. One more inhale, left ribs back. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, sit low, lift your heart. Exhale, stand straight up. Nice, and then extend your arms up and you're in extended mountain pose again. Beautiful, from there, start to pour a little more weight into your left foot. Pick up your right leg so that your knee is bent and your thigh is parallel to your mat. Yeah, really flex your toes back towards your face. So get ready for it, take an inhale. Exhale, sweep everything back into warrior three. Yes, amazing transitions. And if you fall, guess what? It's a chance to come right back into it. Yeah, welcome those wobbles and shakes. That's your body building muscle memory. You're getting stronger. And you can keep a micro bend in your left knee, but try to squeeze your right leg straight. Bring your right hip down in line with your left. You could do hands at heart center. You could challenge yourself with that full warrior three. Try to stay calm in the moment. We learn to respond rather than react in this practice. All right, get ready for the transition into crescent. One more inhale. Exhale, step back, crescent lunge. Yeah, bend your front knee. Really nice. And then once you're there, you can adjust your stance. You don't have to like stick it. You can uh, widen your stance if you're feeling a little wobbly. Power up your back leg, press your palms together, drag your hands to heart center. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, lean forward, twist left. Yeah, and again, you could take a knee, you could fly away or bind. Uh, I just really recommend making a choice that feels good in your body right now. Don't worry about what you always do or what you did last class or what anyone else on your screen is doing. This practice, it teaches us to meet ourselves where we're at moment by moment. All right, one more inhale to twist. Exhale slowly with control, come back to center, crescent lunge. Inhale, sit low, reach high. Exhale, smooth into warrior two. Really nice transition, Jenny. Take a moment, clean it up. Jordan, squeeze your knee a little to the left. Beautiful, inhale to reach forward. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up, side angle. And those same modifications that I offered on the left side, they're available on this side. And two sides can feel very, very different, especially when it comes to your hips. Um, left side for me is always hard. I have a janky left hip, so use the props if you need them. Feel for stacking right hip on top of left, so scoop your left hip a little bit under. Lean back wherever you are. Doug, that looks so good. Courtney, that looks so good. Feel for an opening across your chest. Open your whole chest towards the sidewall. Again, there's an expansion. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Two hands down. Step your left foot back, and you flow. Really, really nice work. All right, and it's almost quarter till, so let's slow it down a little. From down dog, inhale your right leg back, exhale, bend your knee, stack your hip, move it around, lubricate your joint, and then sweep your right knee to the outside of your right wrist, right shin across to your mat, and set up for half pigeon, and really um, take your time here. Place your left leg straight back from your left hip. It's gonna square your hips towards the front. Right knee at an angle outside of your right hip and then sit up really straight, pull length out of your spine. If you are gonna go down, just go slow. Try to keep all of that length that you just created. You can also stay lifted as long as you'd like. Oftentimes, the longer I stay lifted, the deeper I'm able to sink into it just because I have gravity on my side. And if you do come down, I recommend letting your forehead rest somewhere. So just like in child's pose, if your mat feels far away, you can rest it on a couch cushion. You can use your forearms, maybe a sweatshirt or a blanket. And as you feel the dust begin to settle, tune in, notice what's going on inside. And we've just done a whole lot of moving. And suddenly when there's stillness, there might be a whole lot moving inside of you. Maybe you feel your breath swirling around or your heart beating rapidly. 
energy pulsating through your body. Whatever it is, just notice it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to judge it. We have this incredible opportunity through many different practices, yoga being one of them, um, to really step back from our experience and become a witness to it all, become a watcher. Because the truth is you are not your body or your thoughts or your reactions to things. You are something so much deeper than that that lies below the surface of all of that. And these moments where we're reminded to tune in and become that thing, we can take a step back and you almost watch your uh, life passing behind your eyes, kind of like a movie. Get a new perspective. Truly, you get to respond rather than react. And if none of that resonates at all, just focus on your breath. Remember those long, slow exhales. They tell your body that you're safe. It's okay to soften. With every exhale, can you just let something else go? And exhale all of your air away. Inhale, send your breath to your right hip. Exhale, H M. And slowly, like you don't want to get out of it, start to place your hands under your shoulders. Gently lift yourself up. Tuck your back toes. Step your right foot back. Take yourself through a slow flow. Yeah, any little transitions along the way. Sometimes child's pose between pigeon sides can feel nice. Uh, you can cat cow. Remember, you get to make this practice exactly what you need it to be. Even if your camera's on, uh, no judgments from this end. And then when you're back into down dog, we'll move into the second side together. So inhale your left leg back, exhale, bend your knees, stack your hip, move it around, make some space. And then send your left knee to the outside of your left wrist, flush in across your mat. And again, just really take your time with the setup. Walk your hands to your hips, sit up really straight. And if you are ready to go down, you can go slow, try to lengthen your spine as you go. And if you do go down and you notice you're leaning to one side or another, just come back up. Be sure that your back leg is straight back from your hip and your front knee is at an angle outside of your front hip. Yeah, and I'm seeing some really lovely choices. Got McKenna's friend doing a low lunge and Doug doing a lizard. And that's beautiful, right? Like, your body is going to tell you what it needs in the moment. And if you did come down to pigeon and your forehead's down, um, it's a really nice time to just scan your body, see if there's anywhere that you're really holding tight that you might be able to release a little bit more. Perhaps release your hips, release your shoulders, unclench your fists, unclench your jaw. This practice can be really powerful because it kind of acts like a mirror back to us, like shows us our reflection. Um, because so oftentimes the way that you show up on your mat is a direct correlation to the way that you show up in the rest of your life. So those same habits show up on your mat, those same places, those pockets on your body where you hold tension, those thought patterns that show up over and over the moment you stop moving. And again, it's a time to just watch without judgment, just notice. And the more that you notice those things on your mat, you can start to unwind that tension. You can start to perhaps let go of something that doesn't serve you any longer and replace it with something a little more fitting to where you are today. 
the self-learning through this practice really never stops. Then exhale all of your air away. Inhale, big breath to your left hip. Exhale, each M. Hmm. And if this feels like the best thing to happen to you all day, totally stay here. Um, but if you are ready to come out, just go slow. Like imagine you're moving through honey. It's that slow. Place your hands under your shoulders. Gently lift yourself up. Tuck your back toes. Step your left foot back. And it's an inv invitation to take your final flow of class. And whenever you do make it to your last down dog, make it dynamic, just like the first one. Move it around, pedal it out. And remember that first check-in. Notice what's changed within you in the last 50 or so minutes. Beautiful. And then from there, bend your knees, bring them all the way down to your mat, find a tabletop. And then come up to standing on your knees. We're going to set up for a round of camel. So you can roll over your mat, pad your knees a little bit if you'd like to. Set your knees hips width distance apart, shins directly behind them. Bring your palms to your lower back where your rib cage ends, pinkies touch. Inhale to push your hips a little forward. Exhale to tilt your head back. And then you could stay here. This could totally be your camel. If you could keep your hips stacked over your knees, You could keep lifting through your heart and you could still trace the line to where the back wall and floor meet or the sky and the ground and you can grab your heels and go for it. So thumbs on the outside so that you open across your collarbone and then use that grip to really push away from. So you're lifting. Remember that rope pulling you up by your sternum sensation that we talked about earlier. Looks so nice, everyone. One more inhale wherever you are. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your back. Slowly bring yourself out of it. Sit your hips back onto your heels for hero's pose. You can sit cross-legged if that's a little comfier. And then close your eyes. Put your hands anywhere that feels meaningful to you. And just come back to your breath. Send it deep inside of you. Feel how vast you are, how expansive. And somewhere in that vastness, because there's a whole universe just inside of you. Can you find a connection to someone else in this chat? Someone else in this class, and then another person, and another. Because the truth is, you are connected to everyone who's practicing here right now. And then can you widen that to feel a connection to everyone in your city, everyone in your state and in your country until that connection travels around the whole world and then send out love, send out love and healing energy to every other person on this planet. I think the world could use a lot of healing and a lot of love right now. And if we could start it in our spaces, and it permeates all of them, that is incredible. Just take one more inhale. And as you exhale, gently flutter your eyes open. And in any way that makes sense to you, send your legs out long in front of you. Set up for seated forward fold. So I like to kind of rock my thigh bones back so I'm really perched on my sit bones. It helps me get a better angle at my hips. You do what works for you. And then inhale your arms up, biceps by your ear. As you exhale, hinge over your leg. Yeah, and then you get to make this as active or as passive as you need it to be today. So if you want it to be passive, you can bend your knees, round your spine, maybe drape your torso, perhaps grab for elbows. If you're working on your hamstring flexibility, keep your spine really long. The moment you round your spine, you stop getting into your hamstrings. But again, you are your own best teacher. You know exactly what your body needs today. Just one more inhale to whatever space you happen to find. And as you exhale, let your hands drag along your side. Slowly roll yourself up, head and neck left. And then when you get up, bend your knees, come forward. Place the soles of your feet on your mat. Send your arms out long in front of you. Keep your feet planted, engage your core, and just slowly lower yourself all the way down to your back. 
And then when you get down, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a really big hug. Do something that feels good to you. If you like the feeling of compression, you can grab for opposite elbows. If you like that massagey feeling, you can roll side to side. And it's a nice place to just thank yourself for showing up. Know that what you did today was enough. And then press your soles of your feet together. Send your knees out wide for a butterfly. Interlace your hands around your feet. But if that's not happening today, you can grab your shins. Put your head down, but tuck your chin so your whole spine is on your mat. And then pull your feet towards your heart. It's like you're trying to get your feet over your head. So pull them towards your heart rather than your groin. It's a different kind of hip opener. Yeah, and then breathe into your pelvis. Looks really good. One more inhale here. Exhale, grab your feet from the outside. Open up, happy baby. And you can make it active. You can straighten one leg, then another. You can roll around, make funny faces. Flutter your lips. Maybe take a lion's breath. Ha! Yeah, it's a chance to release any tension that you don't want to take with you into the rest of your day. Let's take a breath together. Exhale, empty. Inhale, scrunch up your face really tight. Exhale, stick out your tongue. Ha! And then release your grip. Send your legs out long. Let your feet flop open. Close your eyes. Hands can go anywhere that feels good to you. Let your breathing return to its normal rhythm. And all you have to do is soak up all the benefits of your hard work. Feel for floating and falling through the floor. And as you continue to keep releasing every exhale, just feel stress and tension melt off of you. Stay where you are. Um, read a quote in a moment. We'll take a final breath together. Um, but first, thank you so much for your class. It is such an honor, such a privilege to guide you through your practice today. My name is Chris. I'm from the Bay Area. Um, thank you so much. And, you know, Yoga to the People has always been, will always be donation-based. If you're able to give, I dropped a couple ways to do so in our chat. Um, and, you know, when you donate, please don't think of it as payment for this class, but think of it as a gift for someone else who needs to take a future class, who needs some yoga in their life that wouldn't otherwise have had access to it. I think the world would be a much better place if everyone did a little more yoga. So thank you for anything you're able to contribute monetarily, help us spread the word, share our link. It all really, really helps. All right, today's quote. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. And then one more time as this amazing group that might not ever be together in a class again, please exhale empty. Inhale, big belly breath in. Exhale, H-A. And start to add a little movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, maybe rock your head side to side. And then bring your arms up above your head. Take a big full body stretch like it's first thing in the morning. 
And just roll onto your favorite side with your eyes still closed. Slowly push yourself up to seated. Um, again, thank you so much. My name is Chris. I'm from the Bay Area. I'm going to unmute everyone, so it's going to get a little loud. <laughs> 